focus on hitting your goals in every area of your business. Remember, the universe rewards the bold. A leader has to take the risks. If you're interested in recruiting more people and building a bigger team, a bigger organization, then make sure that you listen up because I got some great tips on how to recruit more salespeople. Number one, ask yourself, are you an attractive personality? Are you somebody that's attractive? And doesn't, and I'm not talking about physically attractive. I'm talking about mentally attractive. I'm talking about, uh, you know, in the content that you're creating on your social media. Are you attractive? Do you have attractive ideas? Uh, are you somebody that people want to be around? If you're not, then you need to start building yourself to become that person that is attractive. So look, you know, without a question, you want to be attractive physically, or at least as attractive as you can be. Well, maybe you can dress better. Maybe you can become more relevant in the music you listen to. Maybe you can uh, start, um, you know, watching videos that have to do with millennials or start becoming that attractive person. Maybe you need to speak a little bit better. Maybe your vocabulary needs to become a little bit more defined. Maybe you need to uh, start hanging out with more successful people so some of that might kind of rub off on you. Number two, are you getting enough attention? So if you want to recruit more salespeople, if you want to recruit more people you know, period, you need to get more eyeballs on you, okay? So are you creating attention? How do you create attention? Well, you're gonna need to make sure that you're on social media. You're gonna need to make sure that your bios are set up correctly. You're gonna need to make sure that uh, you are consistently posting. You're consistently building content. You know, I call it becoming a content provider. And so as you get more eyeballs on you, people start to recognize you, people start to know you, people, because by the way, when you are trying to recruit somebody, generally, they're, the first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna check you out. So they're gonna say, uh, you know, this person looks pretty interesting, they look like somebody I'd like to talk to, and then they contact you. And by the way, those are the best recruits, the, the recruits that end up contacting you versus you, having to contact them. So you come from a different position, a different angle of, let's just call it power, when they contact you. So make sure that you're getting lots of eyeballs. Go and look at your Instagram. Go and look at uh, some of the most successful people on Instagram and look at the way that their uh, profiles look, the way that their content looks, and then copy some of the things that they're doing. It doesn't mean you need to copy all their words and copy all their pictures. What I'm saying is it's a model. So you're going to model yourself after using your own ideas, using your own quotes, using your own videos, using your own everything, you know, coming from your thoughts, from your mind, but the, the foundation is uh, maybe similar to somebody that's also successful on social media. Number three, uh, ask yourself, do you have a real process? So when somebody comes in your business, when you do recruit somebody, the way that you're going to retain them is if you have a defined process that you can put them through so that you make it easy for them to become successful. So in my personal situation, in 1999, I became a regional vice president with my company. And the first thing I did was I put together systems. And uh, I put together a manual book. I put together, uh, at the time, they were uh, cassette tapes. Uh, but uh, then we ended up having DVDs and CDs and websites and all these materials that allowed a new person to come in and they could just follow it. If they were motivated, they could just follow it. Now I have uh, new recruit processes online. I have surveys. I have training manuals. I have websites. I have YouTube channels. You name it. So when somebody wants to come into business with me, they are very, you know, if they're motivated, they're going to be very likely to have success. Because you and I both know if you have the information and you uh, you know, train like crazy and develop that skill, right? The knowledge creates the skill 
and you're able to do that and, and take a lot of action doing that, then guess what? You're probably going to have success. The challenge with a lot of people, they go into your business, they don't know where to go. They don't know where to start. They don't know uh, the words. They, don't, they, they get objections, but they don't know how to overcome the objections. So then they quit because they're not having success because every time they're, because they're basically winging it. You know, nobody wants to wing it. You, nobody wings it into success for the most part. And so number four, okay, um, you know, make sure that online you're starting to put out so much content, like for example, like maybe a training webinar or an opportunity webinar or some sort of, uh, you know, again, a YouTube channel where you have these webinars or Zoom meetings where people can plug in so that you can recruit more people. I mean, I happen to have an office in Ontario, California, and we pack out the office with hundreds and hundreds of people, and we recruit people that way also. So there's lots of ways that you can attract people that are looking for you, because that's basically what you're looking for. You're not looking to convince anybody to do what you're doing because you think it's great. You're trying to be available you're trying to tell the world that you're here. You're trying to let everybody know that, you, that, you know that you're the place that they need to go to if they want to have success. And the right people at the right time, they will seek you out and they will say, hey, Daniel, I want to go into business with you. Matter of fact, just two minutes ago, I had a guy from Instagram and he, he uh, DMs me and he said, hey, I'd like to go into business with you. Can you tell me more about it? And I said, great. I said, send me your number. Let's have a conversation. So I'll be having a conversation with him. And in about six minutes, I'm going to find out whether or not, and by the way, if you want to watch my video on how I actually recruit somebody, uh, we will have a link below provided for you. Or you could just search my YouTube channel. It's how to recruit somebody in six minutes. Check that out. I'll recruit the guy, either recruit him or not recruit him in about six minutes. So we'll, I, I'm able to find out whether or not he's the right person or not in about six minutes. And so, you know, again, there, there's other uh, sort of platforms. Number five, you know, let's just call it LinkedIn, is a great place where you're able to talk to a lot of people that are looking for opportunity right now. The only downside that I see as far as LinkedIn is concerned is the fact that a lot of these people, they're actually looking for a quote unquote job. I'm not hiring people, uh, I'm actually recruiting people. I'm not hiring people for a job, I'm actually recruiting people for an opportunity to build a business in a world class company New York Stock Exchange Company, been around since 1977, and I'm looking for people that are attracted to that. They want to be an entrepreneur, not an employee where they have to, you know, rent out their life for the next 40 years. So, uh, number six, um, you know, one of the things that I think, um, you know, at some point you're going to need to do is you're going to need to spend a little bit of money. I, I'd recommend, uh, you know, building a funnel through Facebook ads or something like that. Maybe you're, maybe you, it's on YouTube. You do some ads, uh, or, 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 you know, boost some of your posts on Instagram. I don't know, but what you want to do is you want to start putting a little bit of money. I'm not saying a lot, but a little bit of money behind your cause, okay? So if you want to attract more eyeballs, you at some point are probably, because if you're just doing it organically, it's going to take you a lot longer, okay? I'll just, just give you a, a quick uh, scenario. Uh, last year, I ran Facebook ads, and I didn't spend very much money on Facebook ads, but I ran them for a couple of months, and when I ran those ads, and, and again, it was only, I only ran ads on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Never, never on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It was only on Monday mornings. Uh, we ran ads first thing in the morning, Tuesday, Wednesday, we ran ads. Now, I'd probably, I mean, you could maybe run ads on Sunday night just to maybe get a little bit of excitement for Monday, coming Monday. But I had it linked. I had the ad linked to my Calendly. And literally, I'd wake up on Monday, you know, 9 o'clock or, or, you know, Tuesday. Uh, I'd wake up, and I would have 
appointments that were actually booked in my calendar for me. Like that's kind of what all of us dream of is if all day long we were able to talk to people and recruit people. And there was months last year where I was recruiting 10 people in a month, 12 people in a month directly to me. I wrote 100 and I don't know, 12,000 in personal production last year. Uh, so that was, a, you know, just call it another $100,000, $125,000 with bonuses um, in, um, you know, in extra revenue on the bottom line with me personally. And I didn't really spend that much money to, to do that. It was only because I was willing to take the risk. I was willing to put a little bit of skin in the game. I was willing to put myself out there. I was willing to make some videos. I was willing to find somebody to build a funnel for me. I was willing to have a website. I was willing to have a podcast. I was willing to have uh, great Instagram content. I was willing to have a Facebook. I was willing to have a Twitter. I was willing to do all of these things. So when these people, they looked at my video on Facebook, what happened is immediately they're like, well, all right, I'll put in my information here. But then they'd probably scroll over uh, or, or jump over to my Facebook uh, profile and they would read about me. And they would go, okay, this guy sounds pretty legitimate. They'd, maybe they'd watch a few videos on my YouTube channel. Oh, this guy's pretty legitimate. So I'll get up and get in touch with them. And, and it was funny because a lot of them, they knew more about me right, then I could ever imagine, they never met me in my life, it was the first time I talked, they're like, oh, I know about this, I know you do this, I know you're in financial service, I know, they knew so much about me because they researched me, and so what's happening is that some of you are uh, getting researched, and the people are looking at you, and they're going, man, they, they, all they do is post pictures about their dog. I mean, what am I going into the dog business? Or, or oh, oh my God, all they do is work out all day long. All they do is post <laughs> videos about them working out and, and there's no value. You don't provide any value to the world. And then they think it's a joke. They're like, well, this person's in the workout business, but they're trying to offer me an opportunity in financial service. Like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. So, you got to get aligned with your brand and start creating your brand so people can follow you uh, without, uh, you know, too much confusion. Like, you always want to make it easy for people. Um, you know, for example, they just swipe up and they're able to, you know, on, from the ad, they're able to just swipe up and they're able to go right into my Calendly and, and then they book an appointment with me. I mean, it's that simple. It's not that complicated. The video is very short, so it's not like they're having to watch stuff all day long. And so all we're trying to do is make it easy for people to get involved with me in business. And so if you want to recruit more salespeople, this is, in my opinion, some little strategies for you to, uh, to be able to do that. And, uh, and I think that, you know, if you have the right passion, the right motivation, the right excitement, uh, it's going to be kind of a no-brainer for you. You can do this. This is something that you can do. Don't you dare, uh, you know, doubt yourself that you can't become successful and recruit more people and build bigger business and be more successful and have the dream life that you've always dreamt of. You can do this. You just got to start believing in yourself again and start believing, start having, you know, creating some hope again in your life. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy. There is no get rich quick scheme. All that shit is bullshit. It's always going to take hard work. There's always going to be focus involved. There's always going to be sacrifice. But I promise you that if your desire is the desire to become more successful then, and make more money and have a life of maybe freedom and choices and options and, and just, you know, that dream life, if you're that person that's dreaming of that, then uh, give yourself a shot. You know, give yourself a chance. Give yourself a little bit of time, you know? I mean, it's like, you know, everybody wants, like, everybody thinks that they're in a microwave society, you know? Things take time, but you got to try. You got to give it a shot. You got to go for it sometimes. And so if you're that person that's looking for somebody to go into business with, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for you, man. I want to talk to you. I want to have a conversation with you. Again, I don't want your money. I don't want a credit card. I don't want anything like that. I just want a conversation in six minutes i'm going to find out whether or not you're right for me or i'm right for you and and then we can just go from there does that sound fair hey uh you have a wonderful day thank you so much for checking this video out and and watching and uh and i i appreciate your time very very much 
Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you share this like crazy. I really do appreciate it. It's great for the uh, YouTube algorithm. Uh, have a great day. Dream bigger. Do it now. Thank you.